there and welcome back to Body Beautiful. I'm Janelle Marie. With us today we have plastic surgeon Dr. Joseph Mealy. We are talking about procedures that are part of mommy makeovers. It's springtime. A lot of people want to get back in their bathing suits and look good. Maybe they had a baby. So we're talking all about that kind of stuff. And here's the phone number you guys to call in. Anything you want to ask the doctor, 415-561-8753, 415-561-8753. We're also going to give you the doctor's number later. So uh, get ready to write that down. All right, doctor, let's talk breast implants. What is new in the breast implant world? And can so, you show us? Sure, sure. So for many years, we had just saline implants. Mm -hmm. And then we have the saline plus the silicone gel implants came back on right. the market. And the biggest problem with the silicone gel implants was that if they leaked, the gel didn't just go away. So a mm -hmm. saline implant, if it leaks, it goes flat. We don't need a special test. We know there's a problem, and we replace it. But right. the gel implants, sometimes they would leak, and the gel would move outside of the breast and cause lumps and bumps and problems. And that really was a, a problem. Is this a gel implant? So these are the new gel implants. These are actually solid. So yes. it's a very soft Oh, these are the solid. new ones. So these are the oh, new ones. Oh, OK. So if this Look were that. to break and you were to squeeze it, it would kind of mushroom out. When you okay. let go, it kind of sucks back in. And oh. I've got one I, on my website. You can look where we've cut it completely in half. Yeah. And when you can squeeze it, the Nothing inside comes out. And then when you let go, it sucks right back to flat again. And that's why they call them the gummy bears. Those, that's why they call them gummy bears. They're kind of like the gummy <laughs> yeah. bears. So what about Allergan just got a new implant. They're the Natrell 410s. Uh -huh. They are shaped implants, uh, and they are also very uh, firm oh. inside. So, so let's so see if we can show the shape on TV. So here's sure. the shape. So this would be the, the top, which is the narrow part here. Okay. And then oh, the bottom, that. which yeah. is the lower. And this would be the front. So it's it a little forward. teardrop shape there, uh, the natural shape of a woman's breast. Yes, and they have little orientation dots on here so I know which direction they are because oh. when I'm looking, I only see part right. of the implant at a time. Oh, okay. So these are hugely advantageous for patients who had mastectomies mm -hmm. where we're trying to get the bottom to be bigger because with a mastectomy, usually the bottom is tighter after the surgery. Okay. Uh, and they're advantageous for women who are born without breasts with, or very, oh. very little breast tissue because we can add that push at the bottom that's naturally there. Oh, that's very uh, cool. For someone who already has a, something at the bottom but mm -hmm. it's just flat at the top, this may not be the best implant. We right. may still want to use a rounder implant. Okay. But they don't look round at the top. At the top, they're still going to look. They're still going to have that gravity yeah, taking. So they're still going to have some gotcha. tapering at the, at the top, especially if it's under the muscle. The muscle helps to smooth that out. Uh, so again, when it's up, up, you know, sort of in this direction, that, yeah. this part. So it will ha naturally have that. Yeah. Gravity helps gotcha. to pull the bottom to the, Let's the take fullness a look at to the some bottom. Let's picture, shall we? Sure. First one. Let's take a look. What's going on so here? So here's someone with, uh, again, some loss of volume. Yes. You can see how it kind of is a little bit indented. She also has a very prominent upper part of her chest. So mm -hmm. a round implant works very well in this situation. Uh, sometimes the shaped implants will push a little bit more at the top where mm -hmm. we don't want it to. I gotcha. Uh, so to give that to, fake look. You know, that really yes, porn story or, kind of uh, fake look. Or if someone is not very tall and okay. we use a really tall oh, implant. Oh, I gotcha. It's just too high. It, it looks, is too it high. It looks odd. Okay, uh, and um, and so that's a round one. So in this case, it's a round implant behind the muscle. It's pushing everything okay. out. Okay. Uh, you can see the distance from the nipple down to the base has increased because we've added more volume at the bottom yes. where we want it to, and also added volume at the top so we get that nice taper. Not a lot of scars going on uh, when you do that. The scar for a gel implant usually mm. is underneath the breast. Oh, perfect. Though we can go periorally around the nipple okay. if the areola is big enough. I gotcha. For the saline, we can go either way because we put those in empty, so it's a much smaller. Uh, incision. What about this? So same idea. So we've added volume. Uh, she had, you know, if you cover up the lower part of her breast, it's pretty flat up on top. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and she was used to having larger breasts. So yeah. really what I've done is just restore the volume that she's lost. And we have one more picture. And same idea here. Someone who oh, just definitely. always had smaller breasts and we're adding volume to give her a more proportionate size so it matches the rest of her body. And one more quickly. Picture there, what's and going on? And here's one that's a little bit bigger. So this is someone who wants a little bit larger size. Uh, we're trying to get away from doing a lift, like so we're that. adding a little extra volume to fill out that lower pole a little bit more. You know what's great is there, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but there's oh, no good. space in between, which is nice because you see a lot. Oh, everyone wants cleavage, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not always possible. Right. Sometimes the chest is just shaped where oh, the center okay, sticks out why. more and the, and the the uh, implants want to go to the side. Okay. Uh, it's always possible with a bra, but uh, what we'd like to do is get as much fullness there as we can. All right, Sandra in San Jose is on the phone. Sandra, you have a question about breast implants? Go mm -hmm. ahead. Yes, I've had, I have breast implants, and mine, um, they softened a little, but they're hard. Hmm. And I wanted to know if I could get the newer kind of gel, mm -hmm. and sure. if they could maybe, um, because mine are like really high on top, and I wanted them to be a little more natural. And I was wondering if that was possible to... Do you know if you have saline filled implants or the silicone? I have saline. Saline, okay. It's a little more common with the saline. The saline implants do tend to feel a little bit more firm. 
uh, especially if they're overfilled, and they tend to give a little more fullness or projection forwards than the gel implants. The gel implants, really one of the things that women like the most about them is they feel softer. Uh, you know, in clothing, out of clothing, they may look similar. The fullness at the top may be able to be fixed with just opening up the scar a little bit around mm -hmm. your implant, uh, but for a softer feel, I think on a whole, the gel implants tend to do better. Uh, though I do have some patients with saline implants that are very, very soft. Thank you for your phone call. Okay, if mo you want more information about Dr. Mealy, you can just call 925-943-6353. Check them out on the web, either drmealy.com, sanfranciscobreast.com, or at sanfranciscoplasticsurgeryblog.com. The number 415-561-8753. We'll be right back.